Mort. The, none of this has anything to do with me. Mark. Your father worked for the CIA to go into cover and get some information. Hard evidence against Larkhile. And find out who is really pulling the strings. Well, he got the evidence. Pointing to the folder with dossiers on Mort's bed. He got it, and they fucking killed him for it. Mort. Mark. Just, I need time. Picks up the folder and dossiers. Just leave. Mark. Long sigh. Fine. Mark storms out of the room and out of the house, slamming the door. Alex. The hell? Nate. Looks like the honeymoon's over. Quiet shot of Mort in his room, reading the dossier and his father's letter. He picks up his phone and dials. Mort. Cecilia. Yeah. I know it's been a long time, baby. Hey, can you come over tonight? I got some things I gotta talk to you about. Okay, love you too. Bye. Takes a deep sigh, then dials again. Hey, bro. Sorry about shouting at you. I read everything. I know. I know. Listen. Come back over. I got some things I gotta talk to you about. Yeah. A backup plan. Fade to black. Next scene. Morning. Mort's house. Doc and Vin pull up in the driveway. Mort walks out. The house comes down the steps. Doc. Ah, a young hero looking rather chipper this morning. Vin. Must have got laid last night. Doc lights cigarette. Good for him. Mort. Gets in car. Morning, fellas. What's the word? Vin. The word is legs. Spread the word. <laughs> Mort. What's on tap for today? We gonna do some more training? Rough up some bad guys? Doc, believe it or not, it's the lush life today. We're just on call for the boss. We'll do a little shopping, maybe hit the strip club or two, wait for his call, so we can pop your cherry and head back. More. Head back? To New York? Doc and Van turn around and look at him. Doc, how intuitive of you. Funny. I don't remember mentioning anything about New York. More. Sure you did. Remember? Then. How's the little lady? Still mad at you? More. No, she's fine. She's fine. Looks nervous. So, guys, I've been doing some research on the internet, and I keep coming up with this crazy company. Then. So. More. So. Carlisle Group. Nope. No, it's some, like, Carl. No, like, Larkyle. You guys know anything about a Larkyle group? Shot of Vin and Doc's face is looking stricken pale and sweating. Doc drops a cigarette. Vin pulls out a gun. All right, you little prick. Tell us what you know and how you know it. Now. Doc pulls out cell phone and dials. Mr. Gray? We think there might be a slight wrinkle. Mort smiles. Relax, Vin. No need to worry. Your secret's safe with me. After all, like father, like son. Right? Then, violently strikes Mort on the head. I'm not playing games with you, boy. Mort. Jesus fucking Christ, it was my friend Mark. He said he found a package and thought it might be interesting to me. It's not a big deal. It's not a... Then, where's the package? Doc, covering up phone in his hand. Package? Where? Where is it? Screaming, enraged. Where's the fucking package? Then, looking at Doc. We're fucked. Doc, shut up. More. It's, it's gone. Destroyed. It was just some folders with some pictures and information about money. That's it. Nothing incriminating. Then. What did it say? What the fuck did it say? Cocks the gun. Mort. I don't know. Something about being a defense contractor for the U.S. and Saudi Arabian National Guard. That's it. Some member info like George Bush and shit. Doc. Turns back to the phone. Both of you shut up. Uncovers the phone. That's right, Mr. Gray. You were correct. We have found and recovered and destroyed the package. The package is no longer in play. The boy knows nothing. No, he didn't receive the package. One of his friends did. Yes. 
Understood. Mr. Gray turns off the phone. Then, we happy, Doc? Doc regains composure. For the moment, we have assaulted our employer's fears and fed his ego. Due to my rampant penchant for fast thinking and smooth talking, we'll probably get a bonus out of this. Actually, turns to Mort, and you're lucky, like I like you, Mort. I just saved your life. Now, get on the line with your little friend, Mark. Tell him to meet us at the mall in the parking lot in an hour. We must see him and discuss the package. Mark. Okay, shit. Just don't shoot me. Doc steps outside with Ven. Ven nods and they exit the car and Mort is talking on the phone. Ven. The kid's got balls, but they aren't that big. I believe him. I don't think he saw shit, or that he knows shit about shit, whispers. He definitely doesn't know any of the Larkhall affairs have to do with his father. Doc, smiling, relighting a cigarette. It's good that you trust your gut, Vin. Well, once again, we will have fallen into a pile of dung and leapt up smelling like roses. Vin, what did the boss say? Doc, we killed two birds with one stone. Mort's friend will meet us and help Mort pop his cherry, thusly ridding the possibility of Larkhall information leaking out to anyone else, while simultaneously proving Mort's resolve. Meanwhile, you and I are awarded in the eyes of our employer for a job well done, a secret well kept, and a new recruit well trained. Vin, fantastic work. So you're saying, slightly giggles, the mark is Mark? Next scene, some time later, the car pulls up in the mall parking lot with Finn, Doc, and Mort. They exit the car. Beside them is Mark in his car. He exits. Mark, holy shit, Mort, you okay? Mort, holding forehead. Fine. Doc. Hello. You must be Mark. Walks over and punches Mark in the stomach. Mark collapses. Pleased to meet you. Now we want to make very sure one thing. The package, it's destroyed, yes? Mark coughs. Yes, yes. <laughs> I didn't think it was that important. Finn pulls out his gun. It isn't. Not anymore. Hands the gun to Mort. Well, here it is. The moment of truth. Time to pop your cherry. Now just point, breathe, relax, and squeeze. Mort takes hold of the gun. Looks at Doc. Doc, you can do it, Mort. I have faith in you. Mort slowly levels the gun at Mark, who is on his knees. Long, dramatic pause. Mort lowers the gun, then drops it on the ground. Then, hmm, well, that was sort of a letdown. Doc, yes, perhaps, but this has all been planned for anyway. The boss has instructed me to the contingency. Then, which is. Doc goes to the car and gets something, walks over to Mark, crouches down and pulls out a thick envelope from his coat. He tosses it in front of Mark. This is payoff money. $30,000, go to Mexico, and never return to the States. In that envelope with the money is a number. Call it this time every year, and you'll receive an envelope just like this, delivered FedEx. Mark, what? Vin, can't you just let me shoot him sheer principle? Doc, turning to Vin, that is not part of Mr. Gray's instructions. Turns back to Mark. Get up and go while you're still in good graces. Pan shot of Mark getting in his car and peeling out. Vin pushes Mort towards the car and shoves him in. Doc and Vin get in the car and the car leaves. Doc. Phone starts to ring. Doc answers. Hello? No, no. Yes, we're on the way. Hangs up the phone. Turns to Vin and nods. Mark, where the hell are we going? Vin, you know, kid, I like you. Dead ever since I first met you. You seem like you could be tough as nails. Tough as fucking nails. You did right by us and Mr. Gray the way he handled Jared the other day and everything. But you couldn't pop your cherry. Mark, but that was Mark. 
for fuck's sake, my best friend. Then, as if he didn't hear more, and you know, that's okay. This isn't for everyone. You weren't made for this, and we knew that. We know that now. More. More desperate. Where the fuck are we going? Next scene, the car pulls up in the graveyard. Ben and Doc turn around and face Mort. Vin pulls a gun. Doc, get out, Mort. We're here. Mort, a graveyard? This graveyard? No. Why? Doc, this is the way it tumbles down. Malcolm Gray gave me expressed orders that since you were privy to an unspecified amount of information, Mark was your test. If you passed, you were one of us. However, you failed that test, and our employer is determined that if you should fail, it was our final duty to take you to meet your father. More. You're going to fucking kill me? Then, meet your father. Isn't used to a metaphor here. The three exit the car, Mort in front, with Ben beside him. They reached a particular headstone, and Mort is forced to his knees. Doc, cleaning the glasses for a minute. Listen, kid. Lights a cigarette. You had real potential. I thought you were going to be my protege, just like Ben here. Ben. Looks bored. Doc. Takes a deep drag from cigarette, pondering. And if I had my druthers... You just be put down south, kept lick it up all day and night in Mexico. Then, would have been a good deal. Doc, as it stands currently, however, I have handed down to me from higher authority. Looks down and takes a drag. That you'll be nothing but a fuck up. Then, smiles sheepishly. Time's up, boy. Doc, bends down and grabs Mort's hair, sort of growling. Our employer has thusly determined that your existence is not in keeping with his corporate ideals. Then, Doc, can I shoot him now, or are you just going to talk to him to death? Doc, yes, you're right, I digress. Pulls out a gun. Ben and Doc cock their guns behind the back of Mort's head. Close up on Mort's face. Two gunshots. Ben and Doc drop to the ground. Doc and Ben, ugh! Standing behind them is Cecilia with a smoking gun. Mort walks up to her and kisses her. Mort, thank you, baby, takes the gun. Cecilia, they were gonna... They tried to... Mort, murder me? Yeah, just like my father, isn't that right, guys? Kicks Doc. Doc moans, turns to Vin. How's this for a backup plan? Pulls out his other gun and unloads it into Vin. Killing him. Doc rolls over, spits up blood. You, uh, you're nothing, you little pipsqueak. Nothing. Mort kicks Doc in the ribs. Shut the fuck up. Grabs Doc's cell phone, starts dialing. I hit redial. I'm certain this is a direct line to Mr. Gray himself. I want you to tell him that all is well. I'm exterminated, and you're headed back to New York. Do it, and you will win it. Trip to Mexico. Don't do it, and you're dead. Doc, fuck you. Mort, grab the stock's hair. Do it. Doc, listens to the phone. Mr. Gray, yes, yes, it's done. We're clear, and we're headed back. See you soon. Mort takes the phone and smashes it on the headstone. Doc laughs. <laughs> Young Mort, in the process of fighting monsters, Make sure that you yourself do not become one. Mort, I'll remember that, Doc. Give my regards to my father. Pan shot a Mort over Doc. He fires round after round into Doc's body. Mort and Cecilia head back to the car. Cecilia, where are we going? Mort, New York, sweetie. I have some unfinished business with a former employer. Turns to Cecilia and smiles. I'm going to tender my resignation.